Thank you very much for visiting my channel. If not difficult, like and subscribe to my channel to always be aware of events. Thank. A prehistoric human skeleton that dates to the end of the last ice age was unearthed in a cave system in Mexico. Due to the distance from the cave's entrance, the skeleton could not have landed where it was found without modern diving equipment. So the researchers believe it dates to a time 8,000 years ago when rising sea levels flooded the caves. We don't know if the body was deposited there or if that was where this person died, said cave diving archaeologist Octavio del Rio. The remains, which were covered in sediment about 26 feet underwater, were found by del Rio and his colleagues off the country's Caribbean coast. Del Rio has worked with the National Institute of Anthropology and History on projects in the past. In an interview with the Reformer newspaper, Del Rio said, We don't yet know the sex or the size of the person, how much he or she weighed, whether the person had a disease. We don't know how he or she died. A laboratory analysis would determine these details after the remains are removed from the cave. He did not reveal the location of the cave out of a fear the site could be disturbed or looted. But he said it was near where the Mexican government had cut down a swatch of the jungle to lay tracks and a post on his personal Facebook account said it was near Tulum. Experts believe some of these caves are threatened by the country development projects, like the Maya train railroad. Del Rio who has explored the region for three decades, said that the train will go through a 60-kilometer area that is a unique archaeological site if construction of Tramo 5 Sur continues as planned. What we want is for them to change the route at this spot because of the archaeological finds that have been made there and their importance, he told the Associated Press. They should take the train away from there and put it where they said they were going to build before, on the highway, an area that has already been affected. However, Del Rio also said that Institute archaeologist Carmen Rojas told him the site is registered and will be investigated by the Institute's Quintana Roo State Branch Holocene Archaeology Project. There is a lot more study that has to be done in order to correctly interpret the discovery, Del Rio said, noting that, dating, some kind of photographic studies and some collection, would be needed. In 2002, he took part in the discovery and cataloging of remains known as the Woman of Naharon, who died around the same time, or perhaps earlier, than Naya the nearly complete skeleton of a young woman who died around 13,000 years ago. The Institute did not immediately respond to questions from the Associated Press about whether it intends to explore the site. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date. Peace for everyone.